Danny Myers. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Well, we've been looking for a while to be able to have someone who specifically knows this type of stuff. And y'all who don't know Manny, Manny is um, he's an engineer. He, he's an executive and med tech consultant of 30 years in the space, uh, specializing in transforming medical device development, manufacturing, and compliance through AI-driven innovation. He's basically optimized a lot of processes along the way, the global leadership, also a career spanning the medical device, the software, and I didn't mention also the hardware part of the engineering space as well. Uh, leading high-performing teams across the U.S., also Europe and Asian markets, uh, driving breakthrough solutions in regulated industries. Welcome. So, the Manny, the question I have for you, and probably a lot of executive leaders uh, do as well in the manufacturing space, is, you know, what what is the pain points for most of your executive leadership clients that you see? Yeah, so in medical, um, it's all related um, to quality. And the number one in the medical field, coming from FDA citations, uh, it's related to CAPAS, to the to the uh, uh, um, preventive and uh, corrective actions uh, that you have uh, on the quality of systems. So your quality system uh, creates um, challenges uh, with output and recalls. And that's where they're looking for, is helping how to identify do root cause analysis um, and preventive actions on the quality area. Excellent. Manning, uh, my question really comes to, to the shop floor. Uh, four Walls, we have a process where uh, it's MDI, Managing Daily Improvements. Uh, we put up SQDC boards in each work center, safety, quality, delivery, and people. And really, we're trying to understand is how does AI fit into the engagement part with the shop floor associates, right? Because right now, uh, we have a manual, manual process, and we're looking for really to review the results how does AI break that down to give us the results? Yeah, so I think the um, the most important thing is to understand that uh, the data are the most important part, and the and the and AI cannot work without the data. So, so today's data are the basic of of the next generation of AI. Nothing gets replaced. AI is your additional partner. AI is going to mm. add more functionality. It's going to expand actually your meeting by giving it a broader view, not just um, really one cell or one line. Uh, it can give you uh, much more um, online information, quick information, what's happening with the workforce. Um, and uh, for example, if, if you are a shortage uh, of people in one cell, it can automatically look, do we have a um, uh, no backlog in a different line. We have cross-trained people that I can then now pull over. So it is your right. partner um, on the shop floor to help you to make decisions. But ultimately, in my opinion, the decisions are still made uh, by the current leaders at, on the shop floor. 